hi guys welcome back to another beautiful tutorial with eco designs to fit have you been finding it difficult to drape your ready-made bra cup for your corset in this particular video i'm going to be breaking it down for you so for this very tutorial you're going to be needing your telos ham you're going to be needing your pins enough pins okay you're going to be needing a marker scissors ready-made bra cup and then fabric okay so first of all you're going to consider how you want your drip do you want it to be horizontal or vertical and then once you have finalized you're going to have to divide the width of your bra cup into two so the width of my bra cup is eight inches after i divided it i have four inches and i've used my marker to mark it down all right now this is my fabric this fabric is a satin what i am going to do is measure it for you guys to see now the fabric is folded into two and the length of this fabric is 21 inches the width of the fabric is 10.5 inches i'm going to go ahead and fold this fabric into two and then notch the center of the fabric after notching the center of the fabric i'm going to bring in my bra cup and i'm going to make sure that the right side of my bra cup is facing the wrong side of my fabric and i'm going to bring in my telos ham and then use my pin to pin it down right on the center so i just turned it for you guys to see that my pin is not showing on the inside okay so ensure that your pin is not coming out on the inside if not your bra cups is going to be folding inside and once you are done you are going to have to start draping okay now for you to have your bra cup stay in place you are going to have to use one pin and hold your bra cup into the telos hem all right and then you start your drip okay now if you take a look at my folding this my folding is a little bit inside okay so if you want your bra cup to come out really fine and stay properly well you're going to have to ensure that your fold is really inward okay so i'm sure if you take a look at it properly you would see the line showing where the fold stops okay so i'm going to ensure that i pin the side the middle and the other end of the drape okay and then i'm going to go ahead and make my second fold so the second fold i'm going to ensure that it overlaps the first fold okay so you have to ensure that yours overlaps the first fold if not the drape might just scatter when you are about to sew this okay so ensure that your fold overlaps each other so this is my third fold and i'm just going to go ahead and use my pins to hold it down now you guys i'm going to just stay cool and you guys take a look at what i am doing but first of all i want you guys to know that you need to be patient to be able to get this your bra cup draped perfectly well okay and also you really need to be patient so guys you can see we are done with one part of the draping i'm going to flip over to the other side so just so you can see what i am doing and my first fold is going to be inverted pleats okay so can you see i'm going to be making this an inverted plate all right so i'm going to go ahead and continue this draping 
can you see and here is the second fold i'm going to make sure that it overlaps the first fold of this particular part and then i continue pinning this down okay so i uh, will kindly stay cool and you watch what i am doing right there you guys you can see that we are almost done so for this draping you need to stay cool and do this gradually it's going to seem difficult the first time you start doing this okay but don't give up continue doing this and you will get there so we are done i'm going to go ahead and remove the pin so you can see the inside pins are not showing on the inside all right so i'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess but i'm not going to trim it out totally okay i'm going to leave some parts and once i am done stitching i'm going to trim off the remaining So I'm done trimming down right now. I'm going to go over to my machine and then we start to stitch. So I would advise that you stitch from the inside, okay? Because you want to stitch on that particular tiny part of the bra cup, all right? And once you are sewing, ensure that you are removing your pins so that your needle won't climb on top the pins, okay? I'm done stitching the upper part at this point so I'm going to go ahead and stitch the down parts okay and also the side so at this point I am stitching from the outside okay well, and also I'm going to ensure that I'm removing my pins and also ensure that I take a look on the inside to ensure that I'm stitching on that tiny part of the bra cup, okay? So once I am done with this, I'm going to show you guys what we have here. So you can see that I stitch this without any mistake. So can you see that I stitch this just on tiny part of the bra cup, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and remove all the pins and then turn it over to the wrong side so that you guys can see what we have right there. Okay, so this is what we have and this is the inside. So can you see how neatly finished this is looking? So you are just going to go ahead and now trim off the excess allowance, okay? And if you want a lining for this, go ahead and cut out the lining and use it to turn it over, okay? I also have a detailed tutorial how to do that on this channel. So guys, this is exactly how you can drape your ready-made bra cup for your corset i hope this video helps and i will surely see you in my next one bye